President Cyril Ramaphosa concluded a two-day visit to the United Kingdom where, among other things, he was trying to drum up investment for South Africa and Africa. He also spoke at the Financial Times Africa Summit. Africa and South Africa is a land of great opportunity. We are brimming with lots of opportunities and we are now a continent and in the case of South Africa, South Africa that is transforming, it's reforming, it's embracing new technologies. We've got a youthful population that's eager, educated to participate in the economy. So we're opening up opportunities for both business, young people, women, and this is where business people should come and invest. And that's why we are here to urge the investing community, the form of sovereign wealth funds, uh, private equity, various other investors and companies to come and invest. And if they want to make profit, South Africa and the African continent is the place to go. Obviously there's still big issues with unemployment, with poverty, infrastructure. How crucial is foreign investment to that? And is there always a fear that foreign investment is people trying to exploit Africa rather than trying to help Africa build? Well, in our case in South Africa, we welcome foreign investors. We obviously are also driving local investors to invest in our economy. And through the investments that we can garner from both foreign and local, we believe that we are able to address the challenge of unemployment, of poverty, but at the same time, general development. And this is where the investors also benefit. And we are now a country and a continent that's not looking for handouts. We say, come to us to invest. We no longer say going around the world with a begging bowl because we've got a lot to offer and we want people to come and invest on our terms because we now want to be in control of our own destiny. Our sovereignty is uh, far more important and it is when we actually play the card of our sovereignty and investing on our own terms that the investing community sets up. They see that we're serious. We are essentially serious people and uh, that is why we are reforming ourselves, we are improving our economies, we are showcasing the young people on our continent and the women who are eager to play a key role in the economy. So if anybody in the world ever wanted to make money, you must come to South Africa and Africa. That's where the money is. Let's get more on this visit now. Our correspondent John Bever joins us from the United Kingdom. Thanks so much for your time tonight. John, President Ramaphosa engaging with investors um, in the United Kingdom and speaking about the many issues South Africa faces and also that, that trade deal that uh, South Africa and other countries have in case uh, Brexit happens in a hard manner. Yeah, exactly that. So it was announced today that um, they are very much seeking for the, the Brexit trade deals to roll on, the current deals that are in place. If the UK crashes out uh, without uh, a deal in terms of Brexit, that they are very keen for trade to continue uninterrupted. Um, they pledged that that would happen. And of course, that is vitally important because trade between South Africa and the UK is worth, well, it's worth millions and, it, and you know, thousands of jobs depend on it as well. So uh, both the president and representatives from the UK government were taking great pains today to say that everything uh, would continue as normal should the no deal Brexit take place. Okay, President Cyril Ramaphosa also spoke about the current challenges facing South Africa, in particular our economy. And then he also said close to one trillion rand has been lost due to state capture. How was that received by potential investors? 
Well, it's a staggering figure, isn't it? He didn't actually announce that during his speech. It came up in a question and answer session afterwards at this Africa Summit event hosted by the Financial Times newspaper. And it really is a staggering amount of money. And you would imagine that if you were a serious European investor, you would want to know that the money you invest is actually going towards what you think it is and that it's not going to suddenly disappear into this huge corruption scandal. So, of course, President Ramaphosa was a great pains to, to try and uh, go through the, the full details of, of how that was improving, of how things had changed, of regulatory reform, of um, cracking down on, on these uh, illegal activities. But of course, if you are an investor and you are about to part with, you would imagine, hundreds of thousands or millions of pounds, you would be very nervous hearing that the scale of corruption over the last decade and longer has reached that staggering figure of a trillion rand. So, of course, people here are nervous, and I think rightly so, but the president was very keen to, to sell this as as a great opportunity for Africa, that they were at the, uh, the crossroads of something big, of the, the trade agreement that's about to come into force was something that was going to um, be good, not just for South Africa, but the wider African continent, and that Europeans should be putting their money into Africa. SABC News correspondent John Bever giving us an update on President Cyril Ramaphosa's visit to the United Kingdom.